Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Load a web gallery to a web server using the FTP capabilities of Lightroom Classic CC. The Upload Settings panel in the web module lets you set the FTP server information you need to directly upload web galleries to a web server. When you upload via FTP in Lightroom Classic CC, it automatically outputs the necessary files and then sends them to the web server associated with the selected FTP preset you choose from the FTP server dropdown. To specify the FTP upload settings for a web gallery, expand the Upload Settings panel. Then choose a saved web server preset from the FTP server dropdown. To create a new FTP preset that you can save instead, select Edit from the drop-down menu to open the Configure FTP File Transfer dialog box. Then enter a web server's URL into the Server field and enter your FTP username and password for the server into the Username and Password fields below. Checking the Store Password in Preset checkbox lets Lightroom save the FTP credentials when you save the preset so you won't need to re-enter them in the future. Then type the folder or directory path for the FTP upload into the Server Path field. Alternatively, if available for your FTP server, you can click the Browse button to the right and then navigate to the FTP folder directory. Then select whether you are uploading via the FTP protocol or the Secure FTP protocol by selecting FTP or SFTP respectively from the protocol dropdown. The default port for your selected protocol appears within the port field and you can change it if needed for your FTP server. If you selected the FTP protocol, then you can also select the passive mode to use for the upload by selecting a choice from the Passive Mode for Data Transfers dropdown. To then save your FTP information as a new FTP preset, click the Preset drop-down menu at the top of the Configure FTP File Transfer dialog box, and then select the Save Current Settings as New Preset command from the drop-down menu to open the New Preset dialog box. Type a name for the new FTP preset into the Preset Name field, and then click the Create button to close it and return to the Configure FTP File Transfer dialog box. The name of your new FTP preset now appears in the preset drop-down at the top of the dialog box. You can also edit, rename, and delete saved FTP presets or restore the default FTP presets in the Configure FTP File Transfer dialog box. To do this, select the name of the preset from the preset drop-down at the top of the dialog box. To edit the selected preset, change the configuration settings as needed. Click the Preset drop-down again, and then select the Update Preset Preset Name command from the drop-down menu. To rename the selected preset, click the Preset drop-down again, and then select the Rename Preset Preset Name command from the drop-down menu to open the Rename Preset dialog box, where you can then enter a new name into the Preset Name field, and then click the Rename button to finish. To delete the selected preset, click the Preset drop-down again, and then select the Delete Preset Name of Preset command from the drop-down menu to open the Confirm dialog box, where you can then click the Delete button to finish. To restore the default FTP presets if needed, click the Preset drop-down again, and then select the Restore Default Presets command from the drop-down menu. When you are finished using the Configure FTP File Transfer dialog box, click the OK button in the dialog box to add the currently selected FTP preset to the FTP server drop-down in the Upload Settings panel. To place a web gallery into a subfolder of the FTP directory specified by the currently selected FTP preset, simply check the Put in Subfolder checkbox within the Upload Settings panel, and then type the subfolder directory path into the field under the checkbox. The Full Server Directory Upload folder from your currently selected FTP preset and any subfolder you specified appears in the Full Path field. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.